North Korea remains one of the most repressive countries in the world. Its government does not tolerate pluralism, bans independent media, civil society organizations and trade unions, and systematically denies all basic liberties, including freedom of expression, public assembly, and religion. All media in the country is strictly controlled. Accessing phones, computers, televisions, radios, or media content that are not sanctioned by the government there is illegal and considered anti-socialist behavior. While its people are severely repressed, the country is investing significantly in its offensive cybersecurity programs. I'm Derek Weeks, reporting from Bethesda, Maryland. Axios this week laid out a series of cybersecurity attacks that have been led by North Korea over the past nine years. We can go back as far as 2014 to remember the highly publicized cyber attack against Sony Pictures. That hack leaked the release of personal information about Sony Pictures employees and their families, emails between employees, executive salaries at the company, and copies of then unreleased Sony films. The perpetrators then also employed a variant of the Shamoon wiper malware to erase Sony's computer infrastructure. In 2016, North Korean hackers got more attention after attempting to steal over a billion dollars from Bangladesh's national bank. Next, its cyber warriors created the malware used in the 2017 WannaCry 2.0 global ransomware attack. It's estimated that since 2017, North Korean hacker groups have stolen an estimated 1.2 billion worth of cryptocurrency, according to the Associated Press. The National Security Agency warned earlier this year that North Korea-linked hackers were exploiting known Log4J vulnerabilities to deploy ransomware against healthcare organizations around the world. Then, late last month, researchers found North Korean state-backed hackers attacking malware in a system update for video conference tool 3CX. The thing about this particular attack is it mirrored the tactic Russian hackers used in the infamous SolarWinds espionage campaign. So what can you make of all of this? For being one of the poorest countries on the planet, it has access to the internet. And for them, access to the internet provides opportunities to spy, steal, and wreak havoc on our internet-based or internet-attached systems. The lesson? Be wary. It's not just our largest, most well-funded adversaries that pose cyber threats today. Search for and subscribe to It's 505 wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts.